Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay. I am the creator behind MyCreativeDays.com. And here on my channel, I thought I would, um, I'm breaking down, I created a furniture flipping course, um, an all-encompassing furniture flipping course. It has everything from start to finish. Um, and it's not just, you know, the, you know, how to make over a piece. I go into everything from um, building a business, how to work with your favorite brands, how to have paint companies pay you to create content. Um, so I, I included everything that I wish that I would have had when I first started out, started out on my furniture flipping journey 20 years ago. I would have, I would have not wasted so much time and I would have been a lot further, a lot faster if I would have known all these things. Um, but now I'm just super passionate and super excited to be helping other furniture flippers go through the journey without so many mistakes and, you know, just throwing things, throwing things at the wall to see if they stick like I did. I don't want any other flipper to have to go through that. And so um, I created this course. I was, um, I was getting asked to create a course. And so when I went to my team, I said, I've never created a co course before, but if we're going to do this, I want to include everything. I don't want anything left untouched. I, I want to go through everything that I wish I would have known or things that I didn't even know were possible in a furniture flipping, you know, side hustle or business that came to me after I had started after many years. I wanted to include it all. So I have all of that inside my course, which I will leave the details to all of this down in the description of this video. But after we created the course, I also wanted to kind of break up certain parts of it into mini courses so that... Um, if there was certain aspects of the course that you just wanted to dive into, um, then you can just grab those mini courses um, as you see fit and as your journey progresses or where, depending on where you are in your journey. And so one of the mini courses that I have is all about prep work. So this is a part of the makeover process that is, to be completely honest, the most important part of any makeover that you're going to do on any piece of furniture is the prep. Because if you don't do that right, I learned the hard way over many years. If you don't do that part of the process right, the entire makeover and the end result is not going to be good. It's not going to hold up. The you know you may get through the makeover as you're doing different steps into it and find that you have to redo things or things you know paint's not sticking or um, depending on what it is you're. That prep work is so, so, so important. And so I created a mini course of just that part of the course. It's all about prep work. And um, so I dive into inside my course and the mini courses. There are video tutorials. There are videos of me showing you how to do things um, and much, much more. But inside the prep work part of it, um, I'm talking about cleaning, which a lot of people want to skip that part. And you can... You can buy a piece at like the most amazing, pristine estate sale, right? All the furniture looks amazing and then get it home and not clean it. And still you'll be going through the makeover process and something you'll have to do something wrong uh, over or maybe your paint's not sticking, like I said, or whatever. So you have to clean your pieces very, very well. And even when you go to sell your piece, you really want your buyer to know that they're getting a clean piece, right? So, you know, the prep work is also, you know, let's say your piece has drawers. It's taking those drawers out and actually vacuuming inside that as well, right? Um, especially if a piece has been sitting in an attic or in a basement for a long time or, you know, wherever it's been, you're going to have, you know, dust and maybe cobwebs or whatever inside the actual piece. So, the cleaning is so, so important. And here's the thing, depending on, you know, your piece, it's really not that hard. It's like one of the easiest parts of the process, but it's the most important and you cannot skip that, that part. Now, for me, I have been rescuing pieces for over 20 years and I have been flipping for over 20 years and I have rescued pieces from old barns and, you know, old, like, garages and things. And so we have brought home some doozies that really need a cleaning. <laughs> some of them have had to be hosed down. Um, but, but, you know, generally speaking, you know, if you're picking up from a, a thrift store in a state sale, a yard sale, you know, it's just a really good cleaning. Um, and you can't see, like even in our furniture in our homes, like now, 
you you can't see sometimes the dirt or the grime or the dust or you know little kids you know hands that might have some food or some sticky stuff on it that have been resting on that coffee table or that dresser whatever it is sometimes you can't see those things and so you really you really need to dive into that cleaning process it's the the number one thing that gets um like looked over skipped when people are flipping furniture um but it is the one thing inside the makeover process that will make the biggest difference throughout the entire makeover and then the end results as well so i dive into that um the whole cleaning process show you how to do that i also um dive into scuff sanding so this is a big topic that people will ask about um do i need to scuff sand a piece so there are many uh paint products and maybe primers out there that say you don't even need to scuff sand you don't even need to prep i'm telling you no matter what your paint can says whatever your primer can says if you are painting a piece you need to clean it and you should scuff sand it it's just gonna prep your piece um and again just make it easier for it to you know the primer the paint whatever you're using um to adhere to that piece so scuff sanding is another huge part of the prep process that I go through and show you um, how to do that. Um, and then, I, you know, you need to dive into, does it need repairs? If you are a beginner, I would tell you, do not pick up pieces that need repairs in the beginning. If you're a beginner and just starting out, um, there are many times when you can just find a piece, clean it up and flip it and do nothing else to it. Um, so definitely that is, um, that is totally doable and it happens all the time. I still find pieces like that. Um, so depending on what your skill level is at and this course and these mini courses, they're for all skill levels, um, you may have to do some repairs in the um, prep work uh, stage of your makeover. Um, you will probably have to, you know, removing the hardware, are you gonna, you know, reuse the hardware? Do you have to get new hardware? But that's part of the press prep process as well. Um, and then you may need to fill, like fill some, you know, holes. Do you have missing veneer? Do you have, you know, things like that that you need to tackle before you, you know, take on or go through the rest of the makeover process. Um, and then, you know, going into your priming and um, all of that. So I talk about, I break this little piece of the makeover process down in this mini course. Um, if you take the full course, obviously it's in there as well. But if you're just looking for the prep work, um, I do have this mini course. I broke it down just into a mini course if that's what you're looking for. But it's one of those processes that cannot be skipped. It's, it's, it's the most important part of your makeover do not overlook it. Um, make it part of your routine every time you get a piece. Um, it'll look a little bit different depending on every piece you get. You know, some pieces you may not have to fill or you may not have to do any repairs or, you know, but every piece, even if it looks pris pristine, needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, and a scuff sand, if you're not painting um, or anything like that, you may not need it. But this is an important process that you should not be skipping in any of your makeovers. So get the link. Um, I will have the link for the full course in the description and also this mini course just about prep work um, in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions.